Hello everyone, in this tutorial we explain how to correctly install and compile latex documents on a Linux Ubuntu computer. And here is the plan. First of all, we are going to install MikeTax. MikeTax will provide us compilers for creating latex documents and then we are going to install Text Studio. Text Studio is a very powerful latex editor. So let's immediately start. To start the installation, simply go to the mictex.org website, then click on download, that is click over here, and then over here click on Linux, and here you need to select your Linux version. In my case it is Ubuntu, so I will keep this option. And here are the instructions that we need to follow. So let's follow these instructions. Actually the instructions are given over here. So what I will do over here, I'm going to minimize this window or I'm going to change its size and at the same time I'm going to open a terminal. Click here and search for terminal and here it is. Okay. Before you install anything on a Linux Ubuntu computer my advice is to run these two commands. First of all run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Okay, this will update and upgrade all the packages and enter your password and now wait. Depending on how often you execute this command, it might take a while to update and upgrade all the packages. So be patient. Before we can execute these installation commands, we need to install curl. To install curl, simply type sudo apt install and then curl and press enter. Then verify the curl installation by typing this and if you see something like this then curl is installed on your system. The next step is to register the GPG key. To do that simply execute this line and then finally you need to run this command over here. To run the command or to be more precise to choose this, uh, the appropriate command you need to find your Linux Ubuntu version. If you're not sure about your current Linux Ubuntu version simply type this and you should see over here the version. In my case it's Ubuntu 24.04 and consequently I will execute this command. Press enter. Good. The next step is to run again the sudo apt get update command so let's run this command and then finally we can install the mic tags by simply running this command and this should install mic tags. After installing mic tags we need to properly configure it. To start the configuration process you have two options. As suggested, suggested by this website, you can either use a graphics user interface or you can use the command line. So let's use the graphics user interface, click here, search for mic text, here it is, and start it. Now over here you have two options. You have the option to install mic text for all the users on your computer or you can only install mic tags for the current user. I'm going to select the second option that is to install mic tags for all the users on my system and consequently I'm going to click here and then I need to enter the password and here it is. You need to see this option please wait for a few moments just wait and then let's see what will happen and mic tags console needs to be restarted click OK and then it's being restarted. Now you will see an issue. A mic text setup issue has been detected. So far no mic text administration has checked for updates. Good. So let's do that. Click on OK, click on updates and click on check for updates and let's see what will happen. Mic text will be updated. OK. So we have this update and we have this update. So let's click on update now and you can see over here update is in progress wait until this is completed and click OK now mic text is closed let's click again here and let's search for mic text again here we are and then over here let's see what are the options we have the option to switch mic text administrator mode or stay in the mic text user mode okay so let's first click over here enter the password 
and let's analyze what's happening. Let me just correctly enter the password here. Okay, we finish with the updates. Here, if you click on packages, you can see all the packages. You have the option diagnose, you have the option cleanup, you have the option setting. Now, here in setting, we need to do a few things. So first of all, it's very important to automatically install all the packages. So here, make sure that packages are retrieved from random package repository on the internet and click here on always and then click here. This will basically make sure that uh, all the packages will be installed automatically. This is very, very important. So make sure that this is being selected. Here you can see directories where the executable and other fa configuration file and installation files are installed. You can see link to target directory. You can see the log directory. You can see all the formats and you can see all the languages that are installed on your system. Good. So let's make sure that everything is being done as it should always and for everyone using this computer. Good. Another thing that you should do is to click on overview and click on here upgrade now which will install the standard text installation. So consequently over here you need to be patient and wait and this will install the standard installation. Again, I obtained this option by clicking overview and clicking on upgrade now. And after some time, you will see here done. So let's click on file, let's exit. And then let's again click here and search for mic text console. So let's start. And over here, this option will appear. This means that we can also use the text works front end. However, let's click here on stay in mic text user mode and let's see what will happen. Now, if you click on updates, click on check for updates again to make sure that everything is properly installed. You can see that there are no new updates. So let's click here on packages, diagnose, cleanup and settings and make sure that this is always being selected so always and for anyone using this computer now a nice thing over here is that if you click over here you will see that this simple editor is being started and in fact you can actually edit latex files and compile them by using the simple editor over here however i'm not going to do that in this video tutorial i'm going to explain you how to install a more powerful text editor called Text Studio. Okay, so let's start with installation of Text Studio. First of all, Google Text Studio, then go to this main web page, then click on download, and over here you need to find the Linux option. Now, I'm going to follow this option, that is, I'm going to select and install the app image. So if you click here on this link, you will see that app image file will be automatically access select the downloads folder and save it and this operation actually downloaded the app image file and here it is now what i will do over here i'm going to go back to the terminal then i'm going to go to the home folder by typing this and then i'm going to create a folder called text studio okay here it is. Now, what I will do, I'm going to simply cut this file or copy it from this downloads folder to the new folder that I just created. Let me just go back where it is. Here it is, and I'm going to paste this file. Good. Next, let's navigate to the Tech Studio folder, and over here you will see this file. However, there is one issue with this file. Namely, we cannot run, or better to say, we cannot not execute this file since we don't have the permissions. So let's set the permissions. To set the permission, I simply need to actually run this command. sudo chmod plus x, and then I need to type this, and then the name of the file. And then to get the name of the file, I will simply press tab and you will see that this line will be automatically completed. And now if I type this, 
you'll see that this file is green. This means that we can run it. And to run this file, you simply need to type this and the name of the file. Again, I'm using tab and press enter and you should start Tech Studio. However, this way of running Tech Studio is a little bit tedious and there might be a better way to do that. Namely, I'm going to create a show apps shortcut such that if you click here and if you search for Tech Studio, you will see an icon over here and you will be able to graphically run Tech Studio. Okay, so let's learn how to do that. First of all, let's install a simple editor called gedit, which is simply simple editor and it's very simple to use it and press Y. And then the next step is to create a shortcut such that we can run the text studio graphically. To do that, we need to navigate to this folder. And in this folder, we need to create a file. The name of this file should be textstudio.desktop. So let's run this and I'm using gedit to create this file. And here I need to do several things. First of all, I need to enter these lines. So let's explain what are these lines. Here I'm defining a shortcut. It's a desktop entry. The type is application, name is text studio, and over here is the path to the executable file. Here you need to modify the name. So consequently, keep this path as it is. In your case, the username will be different. However, the folder name is the same. To show you how to retrieve this path, go back to the terminal, open a new tab, then go back to the home, go to the text studio and type pwd and this is the path. So simply copy this path and paste it over here. Okay, let me do this. And then over here you need to just enter the name of the executable. You'll find the name of executable by typing this command and simply copying this name. And here it is. Make sure that you save this file and close the file. Go back here. Make sure that the file exists. Here it is. And then let's make sure that textstudio.desktop uh, can be executed by simply typing this. And that's it. And then finally, let's update the desktop database. Oops, I made an error here. Let me just do it again. I simply need to type this command such as to update the desktop database. And now if you click here and if you go here and you search for Tech Studio, you will see that this icon will appear. And if you click here, Tech Studio will start. And that's basically it. And finally, let's learn how to compile the files. To do that, you need to have an example of a latex file. Luckily, I created a template and you can find this template on my GitHub repository. So go either by following this link, github.com, my name, surname, simple latex template, or simply search my surname and simple latex template. Then click here and download zip file, save it in the downloads folder. And over here, I will go to this downloads folder or I can simply click here and then I will do click extract and now inside of this folder you will see this template latex file actually you will see a bunch of files next open text studio here it is then open the file click file open then go to the downloads go to this folder open template.txt file and here it is. And now you can simply build everything by pressing over here. And here, before you actually do that, go back to the uh, text studio, not text studio, sorry, mic text. So click here, search for mic text, then click here, stay in mic text user mode, click on settings, and for some reason change here from always to ask me. I discovered for some reason that Tech Studio doesn't like to automatically retrieve the packages and it will not work. So consequently click here on Ask Me, close this and then simply click here to compile this file and the file should be compiled and as the result you should see it over here. You can simply zoom in or zoom out by pressing and holding control and using the middle roller mouse button. Here's why I like Tech Studio. namely. 
you can simply go to an equation or to any part of your document do the right click go to source and you will be immediately over here okay that's all for today and thanks for watching